here we go start adarka lagat hai bhai sir ah yes okay uh, see the new or uh, recording with this machine you know uh, we have to remember that it measures a few parameters and calculates a few parameters now this is infrared gas analyzer which is something tuned to measuring uh, the co2 concentration the water vapor concentration by infrared gas analysis okay you know what is infrared gas analysis you guys should ask questions that will be nice hello uh, what i mean says heterotomic molecules like carbon dioxide methane nitrous oxide uh, water vapor these are all molecules which are made out of more than one type of atoms so they are heterotomic molecules they have an ability to absorb infrared radiation so in the infrared radiation the amount of infrared radiation absorbed is proportional to the concentration of the molecule this is your pierre lambert's law kind of a spectral for spectral for a metal mechanical now if uh, you can measure the co2 concentration by a very specific infrared gas or gas uh, analyzer such as this one you can find out the concentrations of carbon dioxide so you have two infrared gas analyzers in this machine one is for water vapor another one is for uh, carbon dioxide so it measures the very precisely the concentrations of these two gases now these two gases because during photosynthesis carbon dioxide goes in and water vapor comes out for during transpiration to the stomata now this system when you clamp it in the leaf chamber uh in the leaf chamber that can be also shown So this leaf chamber, it holds about two centimeters square of the leaf area, two point five centimeters square, and it has a light source. It has a Peltier cooler to maintain the temperature of the chamber, and then it has a peristaltic pump-like thing which will now monitor the flow of air through the system. So you have two tubes here, one which carries the air in, which has a black jacket here. This is the reference, and one that comes out of that. And the inga is right here. The this is the greatest advantage of like our system is that the infrared gas analyzer is right here at the uh, leaf chamber itself. So the time it takes to measure is uh, real time. It's hardly any time it takes. It's very very quick. Now you have this measure. The air that is entering inside the system measures the CO2 concentration and the water vapor concentration, and then. there is a leaf that you clamp it inside here and then if the leaf is given the light and if it is photosynthesizing air that is coming out will be depleted in co2 and if the leaf is transpiring the air that is coming out will have more of water vapor so this fellow measures it so the two parameters that it is measuring are water vapor concentration and co2 concentration but then it monitors what is the rate of flow of air into the system so there is another parameter that it measures flow rate is the measurement that it does and then you need light so you can monitor light it measures light intensity and it measures the flow rate of course and then it measures by the thermocouple that i showed you the leaf temperature so these are the five parameters that it measures these are primary values that the uh, photosynthetic system measures based on that then it has a calculator inside it will calculate what is the difference between the co2 concentration in the air that went inside and came out and the difference is because that co2 went into the leaf there and you know the area you know the flow rate in terms of time therefore you can easily calculate what is the rate at which the co2 went inside the leaf and uh, you know the molecular weight of carbon dioxide 44 and then uh, by certain physical calculations it's something like that 1 liter of air which contains 330 ppm co2 has point 30394 mg of carbon dioxide so if you know that you can calculate how many mg of carbon dioxide went inside and if you since you know the molecular weight of that you know how to calculate the molar concentrations of co2 that went into the leaf so the output of that entire thing is calculated by the system and gives it to you as micromoles of carbon dioxide per meter square leaf area every second So the photosynthetic rate that you receive, that you record at 10, 9, and all that, is 9 or 10 microgram, micro moles of carbon dioxide per meter square leaf area for every second. Okay. So now, 
after it is all measuring it measure 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 these things so what is important is that when you take the leaf out and then put it into the chamber most important thing that you have to remember is that you should try to give the condition inside the chamber closest to what it was outside the when it was outside the for example today the atmospheric humidity was 80% you are trying to give 80% yesterday but 80% the system should recognize it in the sense there is some kind of a finite limit for every system if it if the leaf if the if the humidity inside the entire volume system increases to something close to 90 pp 90% the system says i can't do this anymore high humidity alert is what you saw then what you have to do is you have some of these things here on the side these are uh, these are scrubbers can you see that there is a small difference in the color of this since yesterday to today yes this will be very very uh, whatever is the color is this will be violet in color dark violet in color it will become sort of pinkish or pale mm -hmm. this is called dry rind it's written here the desiccant desiccant is something which will remove moisture and this is a co2 scrubber co2 scrub it's written here co2 scrub mm -hmm. this is soda lime soda lime is very easily available in india dry rind is also easily available no problem at all so this will absorb co2 this will absorb moisture so what i did yesterday when the moment you see that there is a high humidity alert you will have to know not turn this now either you to turn it towards scrub if you turn it completely towards scrub what will happen the air that is coming from outside goes through this one and then gets into this scrubs the moisture therefore essentially when you keep this knob completely to scrub then the humidity that will be going inside will be zero it will be dry so dry air if you send you will create a situation in the leaf chamber which is so dry which is very unlikely that it is outside therefore what you have to do is put it inside and then play around with it for some time you will know by practice you will know little scrub uh, decreases increase it remove the scrub and go to the bypass then it will increase the humidity inside and stabilize at a certain time and what is important is once you keep the leaf inside leaf will transpire and add to the humidity of the air that is getting inside whatever is going in plus whatever that is added by the leaf should be equal to what is outside close to what is outside so by that way we managed to maintain close to about 75% humidity for all this. so i what i did was i scrubbed it in such a way that i allowed 66% humidity and it added another 8 to 10% humidity with the leaf transpiration so it maintained maintained the whole thing at 75 or 76% 